To cast the spell for the magical land of Oz, the crew travel through the open woodlands of Gunnedah, Australia's koala capital. The team has a myth-busting challenge on their hands. The myth? That koalas don't need water. You'd think it'd be easy. Koalas are, after all, very, very still. Having stared at them for hours, cameraman Ben Cunningham does a perfect impression. <laughs> That's what we filmed today. Yeah, yeah, That's all it did. <laughs> but for this story, the Magical oh, Land team no is also filming humans. Thanks, we'll just get you doing what you did last time. Okay. In this case, it's farmer Rob Friend and academic Valentina Meller who are putting up automatic drinking stations in trees around Rob's farm in New South Wales. Look, look how tree, popular this tree has been. See claw marks. Scratch. Yeah, yeah. The stations will provide water to thirsty wildlife passing through the farm. When night falls, a low-resolution research camera is activated by a motion sensor, which captures every movement from a frog to a fox and everything in between. But what Valentina and Rob are most interested in is thirsty koalas and the role water might play in their conservation. Ben is setting up for a night shoot to get his own images of koalas drinking. We've found a tree with two, two koalas in it, which is um, what's well, a first for us on this trip, and I guess presents us with the most likelihood of some potential interaction. Night falls, and just when everything is looking perfect for cameras to roll, the weather turns. Um, right now we're just waiting on a, a windstorm to die down. The weather front coming through and um, she's scared of going under the trees because it's so strong and we don't want the branches to fall on our heads. The koalas have waited through the windstorm and soon they're on the move. Uh, we've got action. They catch a wide shot of the koala heading for the drinking station. But not a koala drinking. Ben sets up an automatic camera trap with a much higher resolution than that of Robin Valentina's to hopefully get the close-up he needs, and then he's off to get some well-earned sleep. But as always, as soon as you pack up the camera, something brilliant happens, and on his way to bed, he encounters a koala on the move. We just had some luck, actually. We were driving from there to there, and um, lo and behold, we nearly ran over a koala. <laughs> It was uh, walking along beside the road, so we um, stopped and jumped out and um, basically got some good tracking shots with it walking around the grass and over some logs and whatnot. It's nice to, to have some little wins. The crew can rest knowing that a little star might be heading for their camera trap. Just after sunrise, Ben is back to see if the shot is in the can. A clear close-up offering evidence that koalas are seeking out water. Gee, I hope that camera trap works. Um, we really need that close-up. So that we could um, go for a really tight shot of a koala 
drinking from this bowl because um, the footage we got the other night of the koala descending a tree is all quite wide. Koala poo. <laughs> That's a good sign because it's um, it looks well. It is fresh. It wasn't there last night when we set the camera trap. So with any luck, we've had a extraordinarily lucky shoot. But let's not talk too soon. And I'm gonna go play. And... Koala, tick. The koala drinking. Koala drinking, tick. Focus is there, not here. Focus, no tick. Overnight, the remote camera trap has inexplicably lost focus. The koala is a fuzzy, furry blur. It's not a perfect shot. For the Magical Land team, it's a big problem. They've got every shot they need, except the critical one that tells this story. But as reliably as night follows day, they'll be back to try again. You can find the full Magical Land of Oz series on ABC iview.